Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. And a couple of weeks ago, we did a really cool video on why I think Five Nights at Freddy will probably end up being the November release in that single killer for Spring Trap. But still could also be possible for a full chapter in the next license chapter after Nick Cage in August. Now, there wasn't a couple other possibilities that I did mention in that video. And say, for example, Alien with Xenomorph and Ripley and a cool map. They could, there's a lot of different places they could choose from the Alien universe. We could possibly see Friday the 13th. You have Tommy Jarvis. You have Jason Voorhees. You have Camp Crystal Lake. And there was one franchise I kind of left out because I was going to do this video uh, pretty close to the finale video but unfortunately I fractured my jaw and I had to kind of push a lot of videos back and so we're just catching up on content now and that franchise is a quiet place a quiet place could be a sneaky good chapter for the August drop and here's a couple of reasons why one it is a franchise now that is going to be going into its third movie. Now, of course, the writer's actor strike is going to make a whole difference. It was supposed to drop next year, and it was going to be a prequel set with a completely different family from, of course, the Abbots, who were the focus of Quiet Place 1 and 2. And there's a bunch of different options we could have, and the first reason I think this might be a really good place to go is it kind of fills the void that all of us poor, poor Stranger Things fans have a hole in the size of our heart. I wanted to show you I'm wearing my Steve's shirt as I make this video. And I think the Death Angels could fill that demo puppy void. In case you've never seen A Quiet Place, here's what Death Angels look like. Now, these aliens that fell from the sky and hunt by sound are really awesome. They're super tanky. There's a lot of cool abilities we could go with, and it would bring back that feel of being able to play a Demogorgon-like character, which is the same thing we would probably have with a Xenomorph, where a monstrous quadrupod that can run on walls, can climb on shit, can slash and crash, and kind of the stuff we miss by not having Demo Puppy in the game anymore. Now, of course, if you own the Demogorgon, you can still play them, but for me, like, I transferred over from PlayStation, which I played since the Freddy launch, and to PC now, and I can't get them without spending hundreds of dollars for a key, and I really don't want to do that. That's just ridiculous. Now I'm going to talk about the survivors, and I'm going to let you know, if you haven't seen Quiet Place 1 and 2, I mean, they both, Quiet Place 1 came out in 2018, Quiet Place 2 came out in 2020, it's been years, I am going to talk about the characters, and I need to do spoilers, so I'm sorry, if you don't know The Quiet Place and you don't want to see it, go watch it on Paramount+. Plus. Here we go, so the characters that could be survivors that make the most sense would first off and foremost be Lee Abbott, that would be John Krasinski's character, he's the main character of the first movie, and of course he stars in the flashback of the second one, in the very beginning of the film, Lee has a heroic death, he exudes all those things you want from a heroic lead, uh, John Krasinski talks very little in the film, most of the time, it's sign language, but he does talk more than any other character, and if he could get a couple lines from Krasinski, it'd be great, but even the likeness would just be awesome. He is kind of that main character, and maybe there would be some cool abilities with, say, the sand, where you can use sand as a perk to make your you know, strat marks disappear, or run quietly, like all sorts of really cool things they could do with sound. And this would be a completely different approach to survivors, which I really like the uh, possibility of. The second possibility for a survivor would, of course, be John Krasinski's real-life wife, Emily Blunt, who played Evelyn in the movie, and Evelyn Abbott became the star of the second one and she really kind of was a badass in the first one but took center stage of course after the death of lee in the first one and really kind of was a just a straight up hardcore i'm going to protect my kids hardcore mama bear and really cool character she uh had very good relationships with all the children was very heroic in her own right and could have some unique perks as well because like 
that she gave birth silently with a death angel next to her. Like, come on, that is pretty hardcore. The third possible character, and I think could be the most interesting, would be the eldest of the children of the Abbott family, Regan. Regan was deaf and relied a lot on her own intuition as well as having that ability to use the hearing aid as a defensive mechanism and that really became prominent in the end of the first film and of course throughout the second one i like probably saved humanity in the second one to be honest with you fourth i'm going to do this only because i love killian murphy so much if you don't like killian murphy i don't know what was wrong with you but he is the kind of the co-star of the second film Emmett is a good friend of lee's who after they have to flee the home kind of runs into his little compound where his wife is gone and children are gone and he's kind of hurting and they kind of make this makeshift family for the film and uh, the movie goes on Emmett softens up he was kind of like i don't want to be around people ever again he then in turn kind of becomes Becomes a guide and a protector of Regan as she's making her trek to the island and shows a lot of like rebound qualities that would made for someone that was kind of hitting their lows but is coming back as a human very emotional uh to see like that kind of resurrection of a character and I, I liked Emmett all along probably because he was played by Killian Murphy like if he wasn't played by Killian I probably wouldn't care and the last person who could possibly, I guess, be a survivor but would make absolutely no sense to me, and that is the, the middle child of the Abbott family, Marcus, who I don't know how this dude wasn't eaten like 90 times. He would crash into tractors, he would fall into silos, like the dude was like a walking disaster and somehow manages to make it out alive he locks himself in an airproof vent like the dude was a moron and somehow he made it like i don't get it i would never want marcus as one of the survivors but to be honest if i had to order him i think lee first uh regan second because i just think she'd be really cool evelyn emmett and then it, never marcus so those four we're just going to pretend marcus doesn't exist for this now i think this is a movie that has a possibility of being very unique very fun chapter and i think the death angels obviously would be the killer finally there could be a chance for a couple cool places for a map they could do the island which i think would be interesting from the second film but i think a better choice would be the abbott farm uh you could have it all the way with the railroad tracks the mountains the farm itself of course with the farmhouse the silo you could even get a really cool aesthetic with the red lighting making it really interesting if you want it like when evelyn pulls the light and change from the white light bulbs to the red to let everyone know that there was death angels there there's a lot of really cool things they did that was very subtle in the film and that was why it was so suspenseful because it was all about being silent and quiet. And even in cases of Regan, you didn't hear anything at all, which really made the movie creepy. And I think that would make for a very interesting group of characters to bring into the entity's world. Tell me what you think of the comments below. Do you think A Quiet Place would be an interesting chapter? Do you think it has a possibility of even showing up in August? Or do you think they're going to really go for that home run swing of like Alien, Five Nights at Freddy, Friday the 13th? Something huge along those lines. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and later, mates.